In today's video, I will guide you through the complete process of registering and activating a Vehicle Location Tracking Device VLTD, using the NIC and Varan portals. From setting up the vehicle ID to downloading the necessary certificates, I'll walk you through each step to ensure a smooth registration process. So, let's get started! Navigate to Tag and Untag VLTD and select Add, Remove VLTD. Click on Add New VLTD. Select the VLTD Maker, choose the VLTD model, enter the serial number, then click on the blank space. Select the service provider. Choose the vehicle registration type, new or old, and enter the vehicle number. Click on Get Details and then Save. The device is now tagged on Varan successfully. Click on the left side menu and select Whitelist IMEI. Click on VLTD Activation Map and search with the MI number. A confirmation message will appear, IMEI number whitelist successfully. Click on VLTD Activation Map enter the IMEI number and then press Fetch Data. At the first time of activation, this error will appear as the device takes time to connect with the NIC server. To resolve this, configure the given two IPs on server change and server change one through SMS using your whitelist number. Wait for some time, then go back or reload the page and try again. After checking the GPRS status, proceed to set the vehicle ID or vehicle number using the appropriate SMS command. Now search a my number again then. Now search a my number again then. After verifying the vehicle ID update, proceed with configuring the Vehicle Location Tracking Device VLTD. Ensure that all necessary details, such as IMEI number, ICSID, chassis number, and registration details, are correctly entered into the system. Once verified, activate the VLTD by selecting the Save and Activate option. Tick on the Declaration checkbox at the bottom of the form to confirm the accuracy of the provided information. Then, click on the Send OTP button. Once the OTP is successfully sent to the customer's registered mobile number, enter the received OTP in the designated field and click on Validate OTP to proceed. After successfully validating the OTP, proceed to take a printout of the NIC certificate for record keeping. Then, save the NIC certificate securely for future reference. Again, go to the Varan portal. Search for VLTD details by selecting the criteria as a registration number, chassis number, and entering the vehicle registration or chassis number. Click on the print button to generate the fitment receipt. Then go to upload fitment certificate. Select the vehicle number and upload the VLTD certificate. That's all for today's video. I hope this step-by-step -step guide was helpful. If you found this useful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates. See you in the next one.